Intel Extreme Masters, Katowice, Poland. It is 2019, it is a 14th CSGO Major. And it being a Major means we had to up things. No longer a top 10, we're gonna do top 15 for this challenger stage, this main qualifier. And number 15 coming in is Kenny S. All eyes on Kenny S and G2 coming into this event, wondering how the French scene would fare. And he delivered in this game with some fine clutch work. It was a 16-14 victory over G2, which didn't inspire much confidence in the French side moving forward, but some bright spots for Kenny S. Next up is Buster's retake against Ty Lue. He's gonna get a couple kills to open things off, to keep things honest, to keep things in a three versus three. This is an advancement match. Both teams are two and one coming in this. All five kills for Buster is gonna be on the bomb site. He's gonna survive with three HP. Overall, 25 and 15 on the map. It's a 16-14 win for Avangard as they're attempting to move on, but a really nice showing from Buster. Sticking into the B bomb site for number 13. It's NBK who's been defending this bomb site forever, and he knows all the angles, even through smokes, even with the smokes up in his face and no vision. 22 and 17 at the end of the day for NBK. 96 ADR to boot. Perfect teamwork as well. Look at him turn from this flashbang just to get these final two kills at NBK. It's a great performance. It's not enough to stop Ty Lu from taking the victory. We're gonna stick with the Frenchies. It's number 12, Kenny S, one more time. We saw his clutch early on. This was an even better way to kick off the match and the major for Kenny S and G2. He's gonna tap down four headshots at multiple different angles. This was a real grinded out affair on this map and G2 needed all of Kenny S's 29 kills. A great performance on the first round as he's just gonna tap the heads like it's no big deal. Enough with the Frenchies, but we are gonna stick to the pistol rounds. This is Rush, and we saw him from this position just a couple weeks back. He obviously very much loves playing from here, very comfortable in this fight, and he's gonna show you why. They do line up for him on the defense, right on these stairs, and it's a beautiful sequence for Rush. He's even gonna have one more in as the retake really gets underway, and it's gonna be a pistol round for Cloud9. We're gonna see more from Cloud9 in the pistol rounds later on, specifically from this match. Number 10, Crush, the Deagle. It's an elimination best of three. This is the opening map. Both teams against, uh, both teams between Vega and NIP coming in at one and two. And look at Crush inside the bomb site. Whoop, the second one is perfect. He's even gonna add a third onto it, a different side, and somehow he holds onto this entire bomb site. I don't know how he did it, but stellar headshots from Crush to keep Vega alive in this map. So many pistol rounds, so many pistol highlights. Summer is gonna come in at number nine. This is a one versus four pistol round, including an ace as well. Ty Lu taking on Vitality. We saw a couple clips from this earlier with NBK. Ty Lu would win 16 to eight over Vitality. Summer goes 25 and 13, even had a one versus three later on in this half. But this is one way to keep the boys in it as Ty Lu trying to keep China on the map, trying to deliver in this major. Now, just in case you didn't actually believe in Nip Magic, we're gonna bring you this eco win for NIP at number eight, but it's all res. He's gonna have a flank up connector, somehow gets in this position with nobody spotting him. He's gonna get a knife kill. He's gonna get a couple shots on the flank with the scout. And this is so outrageous that I don't even know how they pulled this round off. But Rez comes in hot from Market, right off the knife kill, tags one with the scout, gets this finishing up frag, and that's gonna open up the entire bomb site for the rest of the NIP team, streaming in through B-Halls and Lecro. The AUG is gonna finish things off, a couple nice headshots down the stretch. NIP were so good at winning these four spies, these full egos throughout this tournament. I, I just, I'm still amazed that they pulled this off. Forrest was rolling back the years throughout this entire challenger stage, throughout this entire major. Look at this, an ace with one clip. Vici had emphasized the B bomb site. They try and sneak one up middle, and Forrest is here holding Straga spray down through the smoke as well. And just to finish things off, some tapping away with some beautiful precision 
Forest is dominant in the challenger stage. Back to Cloud9 versus Greyhound, this time it's Celsus. It's his first major, his first pistol round in a major, and his first round in the major overall, and he's gonna get all five kills. What a beautiful ace. I'll let these kills speak for itself, but a stellar performance to get Cloud9 started on the right foot with all the issues they've had with their roster regardless. He would, uh, he would come back down to earth throughout the rest of this map. He got eight kills for the next 26 rounds, which is what you'd expect a little bit more from the rookie. Either way, great pistol round from Zelsus. Sergey at number five, one versus three against Windstrike. 24 and 15, 85 ADR. Sergey had a quiet start, but he would build into this major and get better as we went on. But look at this sequence. Stops the bomb plant and then keeps his head on a swivel, which is exactly what you have to do in a vicious cockfight. Great shots from Sergey. And he's got ants up 9-0 on this third map. We're gonna go to Bentet versus G2 on Mirage from Connector. A tough affair for Tai Lu trying to cause an upset here against the French side. And Bentat's gonna have to do it all in a clutch situation. He's gonna go 20 and 16 on Mirage with 78 ADR. However, he had two clutches from Connector throughout this half. Those clutches are responsible for three of the five rounds that Tai Lu would get on the T side. If it's not for Bentet, they don't upset on this opening map. They don't even have a chance to take this series. So phenomenal performance from Bentet, even in a losing series. Number three, it's gonna be Get Right. We talked about Forrest rolling back the years. Get Right had a pretty solid major himself. This is a two and two match, the third map of the series. Winner goes, goes on, loser goes home. And Get Right's gonna show you. Burst fire still works. Look at this clutch. Red HP, one more bullet and he's done. And Get Right, long range burst headshot onto Alban. Beautiful stuff. Get Right would only go 15 and 19, but that NIP start, it's five and one after that pistol win. Second best from the challenger stage, Bentet from Tai Lu taking on Breezy from NRG. Bentet would go 30 and 18, 110 ADR. On paper, this is NRG versus Tai Lu, but in reality, it was just these two players going head to head. Breezy would match that then some, 38 and 19, 102 ADR with him. Breeze would take this. He goes 72 and 38 across the entire series to help NRG qualify for the legend stage. This was the bright spot though for NRG as they would have a really, really rough performance in the next stage. Best play of the challenger stage at IM Katowice, it's Zai Wu. So much hype, so much attention on this young guy. He saves Inferno for Vitality. A three overtime affair, 25 and 22 is gonna be the victory. Zai Wu to have 41 kills, 90 ADR. However, look at it this way. He got seven kills in the first half of this game, so quiet. That means he got 34 in the second half and overtime. They're gonna qualify off the back of him, including this beautiful one versus three clutch to seal out the map. Zai Wu was incredible for Vitality. And that's it, that's your top 15 plays.